Thanks so much for the, to the organizers for having me here today. Similar to Google X, BP also has an organization that is focused on solving some of the world's most challenging problems. And this team is called Lab42. It is headed by Justin Lewis, who previously was a software engineering leader at Google and at Tesla and holds over 450 patents. Lab42 is focused on a variety of different business problems, anything from building products to keep frontline workers safe, all the way to building new cutting edge experiences for convenient services. Today, I'm going to talk about Merge, which is one of the businesses that Lab42 is incubating. Merge is focused on increasing developer productivity and velocity through providing code reviews as a service, and by merging human code reviewers with artificial intelligence and other technologies. Now, as you all know, code reviews as well as developer velocity are absolutely critical to the success of any organization, especially any larger organization, as well as, of course, ensuring that developers are happy through high developer velocity. Now, whilst this is a very important topic, it is also one that is quite challenging to solve. In today's presentation, I'm going to focus on three areas. Firstly, I'm going to give you a brief overview of why software development and data science is absolutely critical to the energy transition. Secondly, I will provide an overview of some of the common obstacles that I have observed across companies and industries to accomplish high developer velocity. And then finally, the bulk of my presentation is going to be focused on how we can change the mindset around code reviews and leverage products like Merge in order to ensure and empower that developers can write high quality code as quickly as possible. So as many of you here in the room, we are all working on solving some really big challenges and problems. And similarly, in my day-to-day -day role, there are examples of software engineers and data scientists helping with some of the biggest challenges that we face today. For example, the energy transition. Here are three examples of where software development and data science is used across the company. On the very left-hand side, you can see electrification. We have developed uh, data-driven algorithms to identify where to place the next EV charging points and provide recommendations to the network planners. Once an EV charging point is placed, observability becomes very important. And finally, we want to provide a seamless user experience to the end consumer, and we have built mobile applications in order for people to locate and pay for EV charging, for example, on the go. In the middle, you can see wind farms. We have both uh, onshore and offshore wind farms. Uh, and here, we use technology in order to keep frontline workers safe and connected. We also use software and data science for predictive maintenance. And then finally, we leverage cutting edge IoT devices to detect and mitigate and reduce emissions. So just from these few examples, I hope you can see how important software development and data science is to us as an organization. And to me, as the CTO, it is very important to empower people who are writing code uh, with high quality and as quickly and safely as possible. So let's look at some of the dimensions that weigh in when it comes to a high developer velocity. Here are three that I have observed across companies and industries. Code quality, technical debt, and cycle times. So why does code quality matter? Well, as we all know, software is not a one and done, but a launch and iterate activity. And therefore, code tends to be read more often than it has actually written. So highly readable and high quality code is essential in order to ensure that developers can augment the code and build new features quickly. On the flip side of this is tech debt. Um, as we know, as tech debt increases, software tends to become more brittle, outages and bugs become more likely. Studies have shown that on average, software developers are bogged down 20 to 40% of their time as a result of tech debt. That is equivalent to one to two days per week. And then finally, cycle time. This is the time it takes to develop and launch a new feature which means we want to reduce cycle time in order to increase developer velocity. And many teams, similar also ours, do this by having more frequent um, and smaller batches in, and changes. And this means also reducing risk because smaller changes bear less risk on average. 
Now let's see how code reviews impact each of these three dimensions. Let's start with code quality and technical debt. If we have standards that get propagated through code reviews, we can ensure high uh, code quality and remove forward-looking tech debt or mitigate it as much as possible. Um, and uh, when it comes uh, to cycle times, you might be wondering, well, is this actually the case that code reviews can help increase developer velocity? We probably all have been in the situation where we have been waiting on code reviews to happen. Um, and this is such a common theme that there are quite a few memes out there in the community that capture that as well. On average, it uh, takes roughly one day um, to merge, um, and therefore the code uh, reviews are often a bottleneck um, in this area as well. And if we look at this at scale, as a company as large as BP, for example, this means that sometimes we have years of software developer time wasted every single day. So for that reason, we have decided to elevate the activity of code reviews across the organization, thereby unblocking software engineers and scaling ourselves. But we didn't want to just stop there. We wanted to take it a step further. And this is one of the reasons we're developing Merge. Now, what is Merge? Merge provides code reviews as a service. And the aim of Merge is to provide code reviews at scale fast and efficiently to software development teams. It does so by having a dedicated code reviewer team that has the aim to start code reviewing within 15 minutes of a pull request being uh, uh, posted. Now, the merge uh, team uh, also deeply integrates uh, with various different platforms, such as, for example, GitHub. And that means that software developers uh, can continue to use the tools that they love and cherish and do not need to change various different environments. Also, the output of code reviews is very familiar to software engineers uh, because similar to code reviewing a pull request, merge reviewers add comments. And another cool thing is that the merge team uh, itself not only does code reviews, but also builds the underlying technology and engine that powers uh, and scales their code review activities, therefore making code reviews faster and better every single day. So the merge team, for example, is building technology to be able to get context really quickly to the code reviewers, not only of the PR, but beyond that, the entirety of the code base, for example, as well as external information, such as documentation. And the premise of merge is that we combine the subject matter expertise of human code reviewers with tech, for example, Gen AI, um, or other forms of AI in order to supercharge code reviews. Now, before we look into the underlying technology, I would like to preemptively answer a question that the merge team gets quite frequently. And this is, how do the merge reviewers get enough context as quickly as possible in order to review other teams' code? Because traditionally, code reviews have occurred within the team, because the team has the best context and knowledge around the code, uh, as well as the subject matter expertise that is required. Now, in order to answer this question, we need to understand what we're looking for when we're doing code reviews. And this is shown by the six dimensions on the right-hand side of this slide. If we look at the five dimensions that are shown on the outer part of the circle, these are actually common across uh, different projects. And so therefore, no subject matter expertise uh, or domain knowledge is required to address them. However, correctness does require domain-specific knowledge. And this is where it gets interesting and we can leverage technology. So how does Merge leverage technology in order to help scale code reviews? Well, one of the first things it does is to route a PR to the most appropriate code reviewer at hand, and thereby the uh, merge team is currently building machine learning models to make that happen. The merge team also has built technology in order to ensure that human code reviewers only really see the code that matters. There is quite a bit of code that can be automatically assessed. And then finally, for those pieces of code that do require a human code reviewer, they are building technologies in order to allow for in-depth code review um, extremely quickly and efficiently. And this is where artificial intelligence has the opportunity to shine. 
A couple of examples here. We uh, can provide uh, context around the PR and uh, provide explanations what is happening in the PR and what changes are occurring. We can leverage artificial intelligence to provide summarizations and uh, explanations of blocks of code. We can also leverage artificial intelligence to detect issues and importantly also make suggestive fixes to these issues. We can use artificial intelligence with a, a quite time-consuming task, which is actually writing the review itself by leveraging completions. And then finally, we can leverage artificial intelligence for intelligent search, to search across the entire decode base of an organization, or for example, external information such as documentation. So at this point, you might be wondering, why are we not just handing off everything to AI and let AI automatically do code reviews? Well, through real-world experimentation, Merge has identified that AI is not yet a silver bullet. And here I'm showing three shortcomings. The first one is unknown unknowns. We can't know everything up front, which is required for a code review. There might be new technologies, new libraries, or new domain concepts. The second one is hallucinations. Whilst AI can provide useful and correct suggestions, there are many instances that it does not, and it can provide nonsensical answers. It is extremely important to us to ensure that the code authors can trust the code reviews that they receive. And then finally, um, it can be sometimes challenging to fit all the information required into the context window for the AI model to do the review. There are trade-offs and workarounds around this, but in essence, the Merge team has identified that the combination of a human code reviewer with technology is really the sweet spot to supercharge code reviews. Therefore, we think about artificial intelligence augmenting the human code reviewer versus um, replacing them. And humans in the loop here can be extremely beneficial for a variety of reasons. One, for example, is the hallucinations we talked about on the previous slide. When you have a human in the loop, the human can check the output of the code um, and of the uh, machine learning model uh, in order to address any challenges, make any fixes or corrections and augmentations to it before it gets sent to the uh, code author back. Um, also, humans in the loop allow us to enrich um, the training data sets that we have so we can build new and improved machine learning models in order to do code reviews. This really concept of humans in the loop is also deeply aligned with our company's broader AI strategy to build human machine teams. Now here are a couple of examples uh, that the Merge team provided to bring this to life. In this first uh, example, uh, we provide a high-level summarization of the PR so the code reviewer can quickly identify what the changes are um, in this PR, and that really helps accelerate their work considerably. In the next example, we have a block of code that is shown here on the left-hand side. And on uh, the right-hand side, the AI has provided some comments and also a suggested fix. In this case, the human code reviewer has found the AI-generated suggestions helpful and has incorporated it um, into the code review. But note again that this is not always the case, and therefore it is important to have humans in the loop. And then the final example is quite interesting. The AI has recognized that this piece of code is not utilized. It is also recognized that this is a React application, so notice the context here that is being provided, and provides some framework-specific information, which was extremely valuable to the code reviewer. Now let's look at how um, impactful Merge has been for us as an organization. Thanks to the human machine team concept and the underlying technologies, including Gen AI and other machine learning models that Merge leverages, uh, the Merge team has been able to scale one human code reviewer to support over 175 software developers. This is a massive step up from the traditional code reviews, which typically have a ratio of 1 to 10. Also, thanks to Merge, we have been able to increase the Merge velocity up to 5x across teams. Again, a massive improvement in developer velocity. And finally, 
our uh, software engineers no longer have to be uh, involved in code reviews themselves and really freeing them up in order to do what they love the most, which is coding. And we love happy developers. So whilst Merge is still in development, we have now rolled it out to over a thousand software developers across the company, and we're seeing some early promising results. And so for that reason, we are considering to potentially making it also externally available. So if you're interested to learn about Merge, speak to the founding team, please feel free to use the QR code. And finally, I also want to say the Merge team is hiring. So in case you're interested to learn more about job opportunities, again, please use the QR code on the right-hand side there. And with that, thank you so much for your attention.